another video where I forget to do an intro. I'll make it really quick. Today we are going to be attempting to make designer clothes. Enjoy. We're going in to find the stuff to make our designer clothing. We're in the markers. So I'm looking for a white marker for my Balenciagas. Why are these markers locked up? So expensive. How much? I think they're like $7. Ooh, is that might work. I knew finding a white, we might have to find like a chalk marker. <sighs> okay, I think we're gonna have to find a chalk one. Why is there Halloween stuff out? We found it. It's a paint pen. Tate. And it'll be thin enough to write Balenciaga, hopefully. Yeah, this looks good and there's two. Yeah, perfect, got it. Now we have to try and find some molding clay and also gold paint to make the Gucci belt. So let's see if we can find that. There's some metallic metal paint, gold. I don't think I need something that big though. This is gold. It's huge. Paint gold, dark gold. <gasps> I don't know. Got it. Here we go. Love an auto focusing camera. <laughs> Love a quick focus camera. <laughs> Just found a different one. Splendid gold, glorious gold. That looks almost like better. I think I'm actually gonna get this. Goodbye. We are on the right track. There's clay right here. Okay, I actually think this kid's clay might work. It's this little stuff and I was reading on the back and you can put it in the oven. You knead it and then bake it. So I wonder how many of these I'd need. Maybe three? Should I get white or should I get like yellow? Okay. <laughs> probably an easier way to do it but I'm gonna get these clays perfect we have everything oh my goodness my hair I need to get home okay so I believe that is everything that we will need I already had this belt and I think it'll work well because it's got like this weird extra ring piece and I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the Gucci sign over that my paint is falling and then I'm just gonna flip it up after I've tied the belt. I think that makes sense. It's a little bit confusing, but here's the belt. That made no sense. Then of course we're gonna make the buckle with the clay and then the gold paint. So I'm just gonna grab my laptop and find a picture of the Gucci emblem to replicate. Now this isn't gonna come as a shocker, but I actually have never owned or own anything from Gucci. But if there was ever gonna be anything I've actually personally wanted, it was this Gucci belt that a lot of people seem to have. Uh, I'll insert a picture. And that's what we're gonna be trying to make because I don't wanna drop $600 on a belt, but I wanna see if we can make it, so. So there is the inspo picture, let's get started. I'm just gonna open up these clays. Now I did take pottery for two years of my life, so I'm hoping I'm not the worst at this, but I didn't make the best stuff. I really like these, they look so satisfying. I think I'm gonna have to make the G. Oh wait, it's two Gs, duh. I'm gonna make a G and then I'm gonna try and overlap it on the other G. I'm just realizing how bad this is going to turn out. Just shaping it after the picture. It's actually difficult to do this with nails I thought they would be like a tool to use to my advantage, but they're actually kind of difficult. This is so bad <laughs> Two hours later for how long that took it should it should look so much better than this But I mean, I think it still resembles the Gucci belt so I'm gonna go grab a pan and then I'm going to put it on there and Hopefully finish it off a little bit smooth it out Got my cookie sheet. My cookie. Oh no. I mean, I gotta do it. Oh no. Oh, I should have made it on the cookie sheet all along. Oh no. I'm just gonna reshape it a little. Okay. Does that look like the Gucci label? I think it might be a little bit humongous as a belt buckle, but I mean. So I gotta go put this in the oven. Let's roll. Let's go downstairs, shall we? A stunning emblem. So I googled how long this is supposed to cook for and it said 250 for 30 minutes and then let it dry to room temperature and you should be good. So that's what I'll do. Kitchen is a mess.
gonna let it cook and then we'll see. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have my Gucci emblem right here. Here's what it looked like after it got out of the oven. It's not really smooth. I'm hoping once we paint it, it'll look better, but I mean, the idea is there. I also think it's pretty big, so I don't know how big an actual Gucci belt is, but this is definitely huge, so. So now I'm gonna take my gold paint, and this is metallic gold, it's called splendid gold acrylic paint, and you guys saw I got this, so. Now let's paint this. I'm really hoping this gold is what I've been looking for. We'll see. Ooh, it looks really pretty. Oh, I can already tell it's gonna need quite a few coats. That's okay, we have all day. I wasn't sure if I should get like gold spray paint for this. Maybe that would have been a good idea. I don't know if it would have been more opaque, but we are going to get this to the absolute best gold we can. Okay, so that's the first coat. I'm gonna let it dry and do another one. Later that same evening. All right, so around three coats later, here is what the Gucci emblem looks like. Not bad, not bad at all. I gotta grab my belt. This is not going as planned. This is, this is not good. Let's grab my glue. And then when I flip that over, it'll be like that. Okay, and have it like that, but I want the belt to still be able to work. That's upside down. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Here's the Gucci belt that we have to deal with. I think the last touch that I should probably do is paint the silver black because it's kind of too eye-catching, so I'm going to lay it down. Oh, this paint hasn't been opened in like 50 years. Oh yeah, it makes the illusion that it's just the belt behind when really there's another buckle. Why do I think this looks good? Okay, here is the belt we made. I'm gonna let it dry and then let's try it on. Wow, uh, first off, I should have measured the size because this is a belt buckle. This is a bold belt buckle. It is humongous. So I don't think anyone's buying that this is real Gucci. I think they know the jig is up. The jig is up. All right, so the next item that we're going to be making are these Balenciaga sock runners. I'm gonna Google a picture right now and I'll reference it on the screen. Okay, so here is what they look like. As you can see, they have a really, really big white sole and then kind of a, it looked like a sock to me and then on it, it says Balenciaga. By the way, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't really follow Balenciaga. I don't really know what they sell. I just know that it's big. So I have these shoes that I don't wear and I know what you're gonna say, Mia, yeah, you're cutting up shoes. I don't wear them. I asked my mom, she doesn't want them. So I'm just going to use them for this. Hopefully we get a better pair out of them. I'm gonna cut this to the sole and then I bought these black little socks and I'm gonna glue it down. And then, like you guys saw, I got the paint pen, so I'm gonna write Balenciaga. And then we're gonna have ourselves a pair of Balenciaga runners. Let me see how much these are. It seems like they range from $1,000 to $1,200, kind of in that ballpark. The most expensive pair of shoes I've ever brought, bought was $150 most expensive ever. So what I gotta start off by doing is basically ripping these shoes apart, which does hurt me even though I don't like these shoes that much anymore. I thought I did, but they just don't go with anything that I own, the silver, so. <laughs> the hoarder in me really wants to keep these metallic laces, but I'm just, wow, I thought this was gonna be a lot easier. I thought I was just gonna be able to rip it all out, but I think getting close to the sole is gonna be really difficult. Two hours later. That took so long and I definitely almost broke a nail, but here are the soles of the shoes. They still have like a little bit on the sides, which is really annoying. Hopefully it still looks good. I just honestly can't get any more than this. So, okay, I'm gonna move on into the socks. Oh my goodness, it actually kind of, oh my gosh, it actually kind of looks like it. Not really. Grab my glue stick. Okay, I got both the shoes. 
Here they are. They look really flat, but I think once my foot is in them, they'll look more, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna justify, we'll just see. So I'm gonna look at the logo because this is where I think it could flop even more is writing Balenciaga. So let me just test on one of the other socks because I don't mind if one of my socks is Balenciaga. Are you serious? The... Oh, you can't even tell. Dang it. You know what? I'm just going to say I'm not writing Balenciaga on them. That really, really sucks, but they're inspired by it. It's kind of obvious, but I just couldn't find a thin white marker. I thought I got it, but okay. But I would like to try them on, so <laughs> let's do that. Okay, so the moment we have all been waiting for, I'm sitting on the ground because we're going to try our Balenciagas on. Okay. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So, what is there to say? First off, I think it would look better against the wood. I should really vacuum in here now that I have real authentic Balenciagas. Honestly, they look less like Balenciagas, more like aqua shoes that you can like wear in the water. So, Five out of ten. I just want everyone to know that after I made these, I took them downstairs and my mom genuinely loves them and she wears them around. So, at least they have a use. Alright you guys, so that is the end of this video of me trying to recreate designer items. If you guys thought this video was funny and entertaining, comment down below what you would like to see me try and make next. Uh, at first when I thought I was going to do this video, I was like, I'm going to make some good dupes. And now I've realized I think this is just going to be a joke type of video. So if you like it though and you want to see more, let me know. <laughs> so anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't waste your time and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>